All right, taking you back down the shore on this Monday morning as we look at the sunrise. This is in Ocean City, New Jersey. You can see it is cloudy. It's a bit hazy. Barely make out the sun there in the distance. Meteorologist Larissa Rayu is back with a look at our eyewitness forecast. So, Larissa, the heat and the humidity today making conditions ripe for these uh, potential for severe weather later. And that's exactly it, Janelle. We're tracking this cold front that's going to trigger the threat for strong to severe storms. Now, the atmosphere is prime. There's a lot of moisture out there, and that is also going to set the stage for the possibility of a few downpours. If anything, heavy rain is certainly on track for today. This is what the next 12 hours show. The morning is fine, so no weather related travel problems. But by the time the afternoon rolls around, this is when we should be weather aware because we will have that rain move through and some of those strong those storms can be strong to severe. This is a look at the morning. We still have a couple of showers and storms out there right now, but they are beginning to exit. It's not until later this afternoon that a line of storms begins to traverse the area. This is 430 in the afternoon and you can see that heavy rainfall associated with it. Right now, much of the region, in fact, the entire region, the exception right along the shore, under a marginal risk, which is level one out of five to see these stronger storms fire up later on this afternoon. Now, as the evening wears on, it's going to rain, be raining pretty heavily here, closer to six o'clock. So your morning or your evening commute back home looking wet. By the time 11 p.m. rolls around, we should see drier conditions, but unfortunately, this cold front isn't bringing relief from the high heat and humidity. In fact, the temperatures are going to continue to build. 92 here on Tuesday, stifling heat, dangerous heat and humidity Wednesday, Thursday. And we remain in the 90s through Sunday. So the next seven days are going to be hot and humid. Thank you, Larissa. Set here at CBS Philadelphia, in addition to this new change, we're also excited to tell you about the launch of Next Weather. So to plan your life, you need to know what's next, whether that's within the next three hours or the next three days. And Next Weather is all about preparation and accuracy. It means no surprises. So once it's on our radar, it's also on yours. And speaking of the radar, guys, it's busy. Later on today, we are anticipating for it to be busy. A cold front is going to trigger the threat for severe storms, and that's why you should definitely be weather aware on this Monday afternoon. It's been busy, hot, and humid. And unfortunately, the heat and humidity sticking around for the rest of the week. Oh we want to send you right outside. And you can see the cloud cover. A couple of breaks in that cloud deck, but boy, it is hot. 89 is the current temperature out the door here in Philadelphia, but humidity values have been high all day long. And because of the high humidity, it currently feels like it's 99 degrees out there. Yuck, I know. Take a look at that dew point temperature at 75 degrees. Notice the feels like 99. We do have a little bit of a wind, but the southerly wind is also ushering in, pumping in that humidity and wind gusts at the moment are coming in at 22 miles an hour. So a little bit breezy and that may help if you find yourself under the, it's cloudy out there, so in the shade, but it's it's, uh, it's quite hot, quite stifling. The next couple of hours, those temperatures riding in the 90s, but feels like temperatures well above that. We already can check that off this afternoon. By the time 4, 5 o'clock rolls around, this is when the threat for severe weather will begin to unfold across parts of our region. We're tracking rain, some of it heavy, in addition to those strong winds. So let's go ahead and speak, talk specific timing. This is 5.30 in the afternoon. You can see that line of thunderstorms, a broken line of storms, traversing our western areas with some downpours also attached to it. By 6.30, if this is the time you're leaving from work, it's going to be quite messy out there. You want to budget five, maybe even ten extra minutes during your commute. You also want to slow down. It's going to be a mess with that rain coming down pretty heavily. This is 7.30 in the evening and it's still raining, but notice the brighter returns here. They do begin to diminish as this line crosses into New Jersey. So the the severe weather threat, I do believe, diminishes shortly after 8 p.m., but downpours are still on track, still possible as this system continues to sag on south. So some of your severe weather threats that we are watching for you, and brief spin-up is not out of the question, but I think a bigger concern will be strong wind gusts in the order of 60 miles an hour. Some hail is a possibility, but it's that heavy rain that's going to take the cake as far as who's going to see what. And the truth is, we can use the rain. Now, one once we get done with this, well, with our severe weather threat, here comes the heat, and we're talking a string of 90-degree days 
All week long, temperatures are going to be in the 90s, but peak heat will unfold Wednesday and Thursday. That's when heat index values will approach the triple digits. So we're talking dangerous heat here for the middle of the week. You want to stay hydrated, keep cool, splash parks, also libraries, a mall, anywhere you can keep yourself cool. It's going to be dangerously hot over the next several days. And because of it, we have issued a next weather alert, not only Wednesday, Thursday, but of course today for the possibility of those strong two severe storms. A simple tool that I always tell people, download that CVS3 app. It's free. And if any warnings pop up in your neighborhood, you'll be the first to get them. By Tuesday, we're actually looking at more heat, more humidity, temperatures in the 90s. And then Wednesday, Thursday, those are going to be the two tough days. Once again, we have issued a next weather alert day for both days as temperatures will be well in the 90s. And then I'm going to step aside so you can see the rest of the forecast. Really no relief. We're at 91 degrees on Friday. 91, 94 by Saturday, and we're still in the 90s on Sunday. We'll be right back.